A church leader in Colombia reminds the people, quote, never forget God. In his homily earlier this week on the country's Independence Day, the Archbishop of Bogota said countries that forget God fall into ruin and self-destruction. The South American nation is battling drug violence and corruption. On Sunday, Pope Francis is set to travel to Canada. There, he will meet with indigenous communities and is expected to apologize for the church's involvement in abuse at residential schools. EWTN News Vatican correspondent Colin Flynn recently sat down with the coordinator for that trip, Archbishop Richard Smith of Edmonton. The scandals that have rocked the church here in Canada and sent shockwaves around the world the survivors who have come out and told their stories of abuse, physical and sexual, and the beatings. How has that impacted the church and the faithful here in Canada? Oh gosh, I, um, the word that first jumps to my mind is um, heartbroken. Mm. Yes, shock, yes, um, rage, anger that anybody in the church, anybody who would serve another in the name of Christ would do something as horrible as this. Just just leaves everybody um, flabbergasted and hurt and, 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 yes, heartbroken. So that has, in turn, I think, fueled a real desire on the part of uh, the church, bishops, clergy, lay faithful alike, to deal forthrightly with the issue whenever it arises, uh, not to run from it, this is not something we could ever run from, would, would ever want to run from. And then say, all right, what can we do to the best of our ability to make sure these things just do not happen again? And for you yourself, when you hear these stories from survivors and you try and comprehend what happened in many of these schools across Canada, how do you think the church got it so wrong in so many cases? Well, that, that's a broad question, and I think we need to, you know, take a look at what dimension of this question you're thinking about. So, um, when it comes to individuals that may have actually perpetrated a form of abuse, I mean, we all have that same question. How could this be? Right? How could any human being sink so low as to do that to another human being? And someone who actually, to some degree, represents the, the church with all the betrayal that that would represent. How? could this be? I think the other thing too we have to look at more broadly is the missionary dimension. When the church came and brought the gospel, the church will always go anywhere in the world to bring the gospel. We must do that and we must do it joyfully and unapologetically. It is proclaiming Jesus Christ as the answer to the question that's every human life, as John Paul II used to love to, to say. Um, and because of that, many good things were done. We, we can't forget that. Many, many good things were done. The early missionaries that came here uh, to Western Canada, for example, they immersed themselves in the lives of the indigenous peoples. They understood the beauty of the culture. They understood the, the importance of linguistic preservation. They created dictionaries. So a lot of good, a lot of great good took place, and we can't forget that. We can't allow it either, though, to whitewash some mistakes that were made. The visit of Pope Francis and the expected apology he will make once again. I know he apologized to the indigenous community uh, and you were there present at that. What effect do you think that will have when the Pope comes and apologizes on Canadian soil and will visit former residential schools and meet again the indigenous leaders? What effect do you think that will have on the, the people here? The land is very important to the indigenous peoples, very, very important. And so for things to happen on their land, on their territory, it expresses right away to them uh, a depth of solidarity that perhaps we who are not so connected with land wouldn't always appreciate. So that's what they've said, no, we need the Holy Father to come and be with us on our land. And he heard that, and so he's going to come. And what he will say remains to be seen, right? But. We just know from Pope Francis that in these situations, he'll say the right thing. And he'll say, he'll say what they need to hear in their hearts.